we can take things for granted, right? You just bought a new car. You're not thinking about the oil in the engine. Maybe you bought an EV. You're thinking about horsepower and zero to 60, not the cabling connecting the battery pack. But those are things that if they're not there, you are going to know and you're gonna miss. There's a lot of technology companies that are the same way. They might not be the first things that jump into your mind, but they're empowering and powering a lot of technology that we use. Case in point, SK. And you might not have heard of SK, and that's totally cool, unless you live in South Korea, but they're the second largest conglomerate there, and they are using their decades of knowledge to sort of empower companies and new technologies to use AI and what AI is going to be in the future and what it is right now. And SK is trying to raise up the world with the power of AI. Let me show you. Before I walk you through all there and show you all the amazing technology that maybe you might want to buy, let me help you out with that purchase, give you a chance to win $500. We made it super easy. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite thing that you saw here at the SK booth was. Tell me a fact about yourself, whatever it might be. Just make sure there's a way to contact you either with your social handle in the comment, or if I click your link on the YouTube page, we'll let this run for 10 days, open to anyone in the world. Give the video a thumbs up, all information you need in the description down below. All right, so like, what do I mean by the things that like you don't think about? Well, you play a YouTube video and you click play, you want it to play, or you load a game, you want the game to actually start. What you're not thinking about is like the data centers that are making all of that stuff happen. You just want it to work. And those data centers are crazy power hungry. And usually that's a big limiting factor. What SK is enabling is something pretty cool. So they're either gonna put power directly in the data centers or near the data centers to make it power efficient. So all the stuff that you wanna do will actually work. But what's gonna like power the data center. Like you're gonna need computers, you're gonna need racks. Those things obviously take a lot of energy like we talked about. And the problem you get with energy is like a ton of heat. And like that's tough to manage. Sometimes you get giant fans, you got huge air conditioning, it's like you're in the Arctic. But there's like another way to keep things really cool that doesn't always come to the top of mind. It doesn't always say bubble up, excuse the pun, liquid cooling. And sort of what SK is kind of enabling here is a, a really cool way to, to liquid cool. And you think liquid, if you're not kind of in the, the PC space, you think like it's water, right? You got water running through tubes. This is actually oil. These are inside of oil. You can see it actually dripping down. Or over here, all the components are just fully submerged in oil. The CPU, the GPU, all of it. That's gonna enable all the components to run, higher speeds, more efficient, give you more power. Uh, we're also kind of using all that less power. And I know liquid cooling are things that we've like seen before, but actually like seeing it like this does feel a little science fiction. So the real promise of AI will be driven by huge advances in data center technology. Maybe not the first thing you think about, but super important. So AI apps require processing insane amounts of data really fast. To do that, you have to really push the boundaries of technology in data centers as a whole. And SK Hynix is providing a leading role in providing the technology for these next generation AI data centers. It's showing at CES a 16 layer high bandwidth memory solution that will deliver 48 gigabytes of capacity. Again, all big possible because of SK. So that's all stuff that like you know exists, but it's not like tangible, you can't like hold it. What about like, what's sitting in your lap. Like what about your dog or your cat? Um, I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while, but I got two dogs, my sister's a veterinarian, and my little French bulldog, and she's a puppy, she jumped down from the stairs and she broke her leg. And the veterinarians had to take x-rays, and we had to wait, it was almost 12 hours to get the results of those x-rays back. It's gotta go through radiology. It was a big deal and we didn't know, and it was scary she was a, she was a puppy. What if there was like a way though, you didn't have to wait those 12 hours? to find out what was going on with your pet. I think that would be pretty cool. In fact, what if you could know within like 15 seconds of what was going on with your dog or cat? Meet Excalibur, doing exactly that. Uh, utilizing the power of cloud and AI, take an x-ray, gets uploaded using Excalibur software and sort of their AI, a little bit of magic. Again, you'll know within 15 seconds what happened. We would have known exactly which bone in my dog's leg was broken. We would have seen what was going on if maybe she had had a disease or needed something to get information from an x-ray in 15 seconds. And sometimes that time, those hours, can be really valuable. 
in maybe saving a pet's life or taking quicker action. And Excalibur is doing that. And this isn't like a, like a future thing. It's already out now in South Korea and there are plans to bring this to the US. So that's all like AI, but obviously not the AI that maybe we're most familiar with. But like, I can come close to guaranteeing that sometime over the past, let's say two weeks, you asked your phone like what the weather was or remind you to take out the trash or ask to tell you a joke or sing you a song. AI assistants have been around, but they've always had like some limitations. They couldn't really achieve like assistant level stuff. They couldn't maybe make dinner reservations for you. They couldn't recommend things to do kind of until now. Meet Aster. So I'm here at CES 2025. I am in one of my favorite cities in the world, Las Vegas. Let's say I'm staying at a new hotel or new location. I don't know what's here, right? I'm staying at the Fountain Blue. It's my first time there. I don't know the restaurants. I can ask Aster, what restaurants should I have? It can pull up a whole list of restaurants for me, make recommendations based on what kind of cuisine I'm interested in. Then maybe, you know, I'm out. My kids aren't here. I want to go see a show recommend show ideas for me. You can sort of take the things that I wouldn't necessarily know what to do and do things I'd ask an assistant to do, right? Aster can handle all of those things, plus all the things you're already used to with your AI assistant and all of that in one place. Thanks, Aster. It's like, I know that was a lot. FSK does this right. FSK brings a sort of vision of AI to reality. These are all new technologies that you're gonna forget about. You're gonna forget about them because they're gonna make your life so much easier. You might not even know that they're there. That's where SK really shines. And if you wanna check any of this stuff out or just sort of generally learn more, go to sk.com to check out the technologies that are powering AI's transition from ideas to reality.